So we're out here at Rafa's garage. We're gonna work on my girl's car. Uh, she's gonna do the brakes on it. Um, I'm gonna see what's wrong with the lift. She's not hitting lift. I already have a spare lift bolt on my bolt. I don't see you making videos, baby. Shut up, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, we got lift bolts right here, just in case. Uh, spares. I'll put the part number in the description below. No, you're not gonna put it anywhere. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is take off the C1 bar and take out this valve cover. We're also gonna take off the coils. Um, because we need to take them off, take out the valve cover and all these little hoses that's there. So, that's what we're gonna do right now. So, valve cover's off. Pretty easy. Uh, I had to take out the coils and the wire harness there. Um, if you have air injection, you have to take out the air injection and don't forget the power steering that's back here. That one's the pain in the butt. Luckily, I got it easy. I got small hands. Um, your lift bolts are these two right here. This one right here and this one. This one's the intake. This one's the one that breaks 90% of the time or yeah, 99% basically. So we're gonna take those out. Let's see if those broken. If those are broken, there's your problem. I'm um, like 90%. That's the reason why. We'll double, we'll check right now. Let me take them off. Uh, my bad. This one's the intake. Um, and as you see, the one this one is the intake. The one that's all beat up. Uh, so they're not broken. Good thing. Um, then we're gonna. If it's not that, we're gonna do the filters. There's a filter down there. Uh, I'm gonna clean and a filter over here on your solenoid, which I'm gonna clean also. Maybe that's the issue. But since we're already here, we're gonna swap these out. I don't want this to break because it's a pain in the ass to take off when they're broken. Luckily, they're not. Thank God. So I'm gonna replace this, torque them down. I believe it's 10 or 15 pounds. I'm not too sure. I'll double check and i'll let you guys know so well, there it is we took both filters this is the one for the one that's on this side and then this one is the one that's under the alternate or behind the alternator um already did the lift bolts put them on torque them it's supposed to be 5.5 pounds of torque um always use a torque wrench I have it somewhere over there you don't want to over tighten them and break them yourself and so we're gonna put everything back together and hopefully lift works this time if not um might be a sensor and then fuck that shit. <laughs> so let's put it back together go for a test run and see if we hit vtech psych <laughs> lift <laughs> So everything is back on, even the C1 bar. Don't forget to do the power steering in the back, connect it. Uh, I almost forgot, but put it there. It's a pain in the butt, but I got it. So now we're gonna go for a test drive. Let's see if VTEC works. VTEC. <laughs> so I didn't record, but lift isn't working on my girl's car. Um, I'm thinking is because she has a lean code. So what I'm gonna do today is um, What I'm gonna do right now is swap my map sensor with her map sensor and also the intake because her intake doesn't have a vacuum line for uh, the intake so I'm gonna put my cold air on here. Hopefully it fits and Keep you guys updated right now. So intake is out of my car. Now I gotta take out this one. Pretty easy. Uh, just a flat there. 
take out the filter to make it easier to take it out same thing just unplug the map sensor right here and like I said, this one doesn't have a vacuum hose, the one that goes right there. So I'm thinking the map sensor and that's giving the system too lean and not letting it to activate lift. Um, so let's try it out. So there's no way my intake's gonna fit on this. Reason being is because this manifold is over here when it's supposed to be right here. Um, so there's no way I'm gonna be able to have it there. Uh, I'm gonna try another solution. I'm gonna try to do a short ram on it because I do have a short ram there and hopefully that works. Um, that way we can use this vacuum. And as you can see, this one doesn't have nothing I fit the short ram and it has got to go the opposite way so it has to go that way um i'm gonna see if i could i'm gonna remove the ecu and slide it over there a little bit that way the intake could fall right there and try it out seeing if it's this vacuum hose that i'm missing or my map sensor that thing that's wrong so this is the end result right now uh, I'm gonna see if the hood clears right now hopefully it does close it baby it cleared good thing now let's go for a test drive this time I am gonna record hopefully it's good and I don't have to um, do any modifications at least I know it's the math sensor or that vacuum hose so let's go check it out try it on time for a test drive see if it helped it out
have extra work and we don't gotta go buy a new one or actually they don't sell new ones at AutoZone they're refurbished extra spare one I had laying around so I'm gonna put it on here and throw this one away piece of shit so I've already put the new map sensor I'm gonna go for a test run again hopefully this one works and I'm good to go. gonna go put on the old intake hopefully it works so car is fixed she's hitting lift now thanks for watching please like subscribe if you haven't already done so mounts